Top secret, top secret, top secret. Speed round. One of these. Okay. Uh, this is like a little breakout board that will let you just connect step by QT and it has little pull up resistors and LED. And then I made two trinkies. So this is, I have a lot of 70, 21 E18s. I gotta get rid of these. And I was like, oh, you know, I should get back to the trinkies because we were making like a trinkie a week. So, um, uh, this one has a 7021 with a reset button, NeoPixel, and SHT45, which is like a really nice precision temperature humidity sensor. Now, for the final version, I actually added a little cutout uh, to isolate the SHT45 because there was a little bit of self-heating going on. Um, I also made a version with the SHT41. Uh, this is, um, somebody requested this. They wanted a little fan simulator for like a computer to like simulate a PC fan. So it's like, oh yeah, the little like 555 timer with a little potentiometer could be useful. So there's a little switch to switch the capacitor so you can do, you know, zero-ish to 250 hertz or to 25 kilohertz. You can do it for audio on the right, or you flip it, you can do it for fans, which are like about 100 hertz. And then this is a USB host BFF. So using the Max 3421E and an on-the-go micro B connector, you'll need like an on-the-go adapter. Uh, but you can add USB host. We're doing a lot more USB host stuff with the uh, Mac 3421. We've got great Arduino support and more CircuitPython support is hopefully coming soon. So this could be, you can make really tiny little USB host interface. And then finally, um, the great search two weeks ago, we were looking, because we were talking about the SHT45 and I was like, well, what other humidity sensors out there? We found this really cool ultra precise uh, 0.5% uh, accurate, you know, relative humidity sensor. So it'll break up board with, again, a little cutout to give it some thermal isolation. And that is this week's top secret.